good afternoon, Box and Viper Media and PR. I'm here with the main man himself, Eddie Hearn. Eddie, just been asking you there off camera, but how do you think that press conference went today? It went well. I mean, um, you know, last time the atmosphere was absolutely incredible. And I think this time it's going to be amplified because you have a much more serious fight for Lewis Ritson. Um, you have more fans coming to the arena. Great card. I think Robbie Davis against Glenfoot is a brilliant fight. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for Lewis Ritson. I'm excited for boxing in the North East and, and roll on October 13th. It's a good platform to be going off, isn't it, with what Lewis has been achieving so far. I think the only question um, is obviously, like you say, the, the level in opponents. Mm. Um, how are they going to cope with his power? Yeah, I think this time you've got a, a big step up from him. You know, you've got a guy who is very durable anyway, but a guy who's been to Finland and beaten Tatley in his backyard to become European champion. So this is a much sterner test. Um, and, I, and I see rounds in this fight. I just think, you no, know, Lewis mustn't get carried away with people just saying, oh, he's a huge puncher and thinking that he can just walk people down because Patera's cute, he's skillful, and, you know, he can box. And, and if, if Lewis is sloppy in his work, he'll be made to pay. But, you know, I see a brilliant fighter in Lewis Ritz and he's going to have a quick run out on the Khan card next week and then move on to, uh, to Newcastle. So the next steps for Lewis, really, um, if he comes through October the 13th, obviously, you know, the, the Khan bill as well, um, where would you like to kind of take him after that? I'd like to see him box in America at some point. Um, but, you know, he's going to be hopefully defending that European title as well. So I think I'd like to go and be in Newcastle every fight. But, you know, we've got to make sure we spread him around a little bit. I mean, he's huge now, not just in Newcastle, but in Britain. And even our international broadcasters are starting to, to, to take note of Lewis Ritson. So he's got massive potential. And the most important thing is just keep winning. And obviously October 13th, try and add that European title to the British crown. Yeah, and you've got local lads obviously entering the scene as well because of Lewis, you know, he's kind of blazing the trail along with mm. Glenn Foote with what they've achieved over the last sort of 18 months. But, you know, you've got young lads like Joe Laws, as you've seen in his reception yeah, today, it was incredible. just incredible, yeah. wasn't it? But they've all got a piggyback on the back of Lewis Ritson, you know, and obviously you've got Josh Kelly as yeah. well. You know, he's having his first child around the same diet, so he's not fighting uh, on this card. But he's another North East fighter that's going to go on and become world champion. So great time for North East boxing and if the fans continue to support like I know they will then um, you know the sky's the limit and I've just been having a word with Dave Allen as well and obviously yeah. Dave Allen's gone from one of those kind of he's like a national treasure isn't he, he is they love him and, and you know I've never seen so many happy people when he won his last fight but that's over now and he's got to really build on that success and try and become serious and try and put in good performances so I'm going to try and get him his first belt um, on October 13th and again he's, he's very very popular as is Joshua Boatze, you know, who's a little bit more serious than Dave Allen and a guy that I think will become unified world champion at £175 I think Boatze is one of the best talents in the sport and it's great to see him coming up to Newcastle as well and uh, your fight of the night what would you think that's going to well, be so far I always love watching Lewis Ritson box but yeah. I do love the Foot Davis fight yeah, I think everyone does fight, you know? yeah. and also like um, Craig Glover against Simon Valili. Yeah. You know, I think Valili last time, Iqbal's style was just all wrong for well, it's all wrong for everybody. Yeah. And I think Craig Glover will really come to fight. So I think Valili, you know, if he can really get stuck into that fight, I think it's gonna be a great fight. And um, obviously you'll just have to take the customary booze on the chin, won't you, this time? Or do you think you might get cheered well, this I'd, time, Eddie? I'd like to think that I should get cheered in Newcastle. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I think but, you should as well, yeah. You know, maybe it's just something that happens now and we just got to get on with it. So, uh, you know, I'm pleased to be in Newcastle, booze or not. But if you could give me a cheer, that'd be nice as well. Definitely. And I think, uh, obviously, we, well, from all the fans' point of view, you know, all that we can say is thanks for bringing boxing no back. No worries, really. listen, thanks for the support. Because if you weren't coming out, I wouldn't be here. That's the bottom line. And without supporting the fighters, they wouldn't get these opportunities. So everything works hand in hand. Teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time today and uh, see you on October the 13th. No problem. Cheers. Great, thank you.